and the metronome goes back and forth and it keeps time and you as a piano player needs to know that you keep time with the metronome right in welding you have to get a cadence and I call it a cadence or something that will help you keep time so what I like to give as an example okay so you guys are too old to think about this but I have to mention it anyways if you put in your mind the song row 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 your boat and you sing it the way you used to as a little kid that gives you a timing to stay with so you keep that song in your head row 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 your boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream see how that cadence is a steady cadence you cannot get your timing if you sit there and listen to the music that they listen to now there's no timing there okay so timing is important speed the angle in which your rod is the height of the rod and the direction of travel then you're riding a bike okay one last thing there are certain properties of a, of a weld this is convex you've got a little bit of a hump there this is what your weld needs a convex weld you do not need a concave where there's a dimple there's one or two things happening if you got a concave weld you're going too slow or your amperage is too high you're creating a void and not filling it in before we get welding what we need to do is we need to program the machine for shield metal arc welding if you take a look right here this handle here is the different types of welding this right here is positive electrode this is positive negative uh, negative electrode and down here is going to be where you're going to set it up if you were using it for TIG to weld aluminum so the white color you want to put it on the positive uh, electrode <coughs> positive then what we want to do is turn it on and it'll run through a cycle once the cycle runs through you're going to come down here to these sets of buttons these buttons all at the top need to be on the third one's going to be a blue button so it's green green blue green the way you change the amperage is you use this right here the bottom number is your amperage depending on what you're doing if you're doing just regular string beads you want to do it around 75 to 80 if you want to do a cover pass you're going to take this up to about 120 once you get that you make sure that your your negative or your ground is on and then you have the stinger this is called the stinger this is where the electrode goes in and this is where all the business happens you put the bare metal into the uh, stinger and then you're still good make sure that you hang that in that pipe because if you set it on the table if you set it on the table it might short out or arc out okay so we're going to get ready to weld and then we'll take care of business all right so what we're looking at now is we're getting ready to do a weld i was checking the bead out to see if i can make a good bead before i give it to you as a class member what we need are the three tools that are up here on the wall you can the three tools is your pliers your chipping hammer and your brush okay once you get this and you weld on it remember that plate is hot you need to have your gloves on and when you're finished welding you need to quench this we'll talk about quenching when you come out of that booth and you have a hot piece of metal you will yell hot metal to make sure everybody knows that you're walking with a piece of hot metal. So I'm gonna run another bead 
just above that. If you notice the bead that I have is a straight bead. That's the object of the lesson. You have to make a straight bead. If you're from the top of the bottom of the coupon, you're not gonna be able to fuse the two pieces of metal together. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another bead right next to it. We'll go ahead and chip it, brush it, and then I'll make sure that it's cool enough so we can put a cover pass on it. The chisel point of the chipping hammer is to get the slag off. So you can clean the bead up. You always have to clean your bead between beads. When you're putting in the rod, the rod goes into the holder with the metal, the clear metal out. The flux should be at the bottom when you get ready to weld. Okay, so we're gonna weld another bead to the top. I will chip it and clean it, and then we'll run a cover pass. 